What is up? This is Colonial Puppet. This is yet another part of the Let's Build a Stadium series. And uh, picking up right where we left off, we're going to start with the short end of the field, um, getting this nice and uh, interiorized, I guess you can say. It's going to be a little tough, given there's not a lot of room to work with. So, uh, what I think I'm going to do is actually start with this. I'm actually going to take these and do this. Something like that. And then we're going to go to the other end. Do, do, do. Actually, you know what? I guess we're starting on the... Uh, Let's see the long end. Let's get the long end of the field out of the way. Um, not a bad idea, to be honest. Do this. Something like that. How's that? Great. Now we are going to do this. side all sixths of these just like that hope everyone's been enjoying the um, live streams uh, I had an interesting experience today going to Walmart to pick something up that would make my streaming experience a little bit easier. Um, for those of you who don't know, I've been using a secondary laptop to read the comments. Um, although that's kind of been an issue where I keep running out of battery just like in the middle of it or I like forget to plug it in. And it's not my, it's not my uh, laptop so people want to use it. It's kind of like a family laptop. So, said I thought I would buy a, um, thought I'd buy an external display, like a 22 inch um, ONN, I guess it's pronounced on display at Walmart for like 80 bucks. Uh, 1080p, HDMI, 60 hertz, pretty nice screen. Color accuracy is probably not that great. It's, a, it's like the cheapest computer screen you could get at Walmart currently, at least at the one I went to. And uh, yeah, um, had some issues with it. I uh, well, not with the screen itself. The screen worked fine. I ended up having to buy. Uh, I ended up buying it once, and then immediately had to go back to the Walmart I bought it from. And I had to return it because the unit I got like was missing a lot of stuff in the box. So the screen itself worked. I plugged it in, but it was missing uh, this piece that was like necessary for the actual um, the actual uh, mount to work, and the actual stand to like connect. Because it's like there's like a little thing jutting out of the screen itself. And then there's a stand, and there's this middle piece that connects the two. And it didn't come with that. And I was like, alright. Put the all, all, all in the box. Uh, still didn't find it anywhere. It's a little pissed off. Uh, so I drove all the way back to Walmart, turned it, and they gave me a new one, which was nice. And uh, not only did it, I just burped, sorry. Not only did it um, did I learn that it didn't come with that mounting piece, but it also didn't come with an HDMI cable, which at first I thought I was like, well, that's kind of cheap to 
I know it was a cheap alternative, but I didn't know they went that all out. Um, because the first one I got didn't have an HDMI cord, and the one I ended up getting it replaced with did. Same size, same model, same company, same everything. It's just like the one I got at first just was lacking a bunch of stuff. Oop, don't know why that happened. Just kind of annoying. No, I'm going to do this. I don't know what just happened, and I don't want to like mess anything up. So that was my experience getting a monitor. Oh shit. I just cleared a bunch of stuff. So, uh, long story short, buying a monitor took about an hour longer than I had anticipated. But, got it up and running, which is good enough, right? Uh oh. Spooky noises. Um, so yeah, I'll just have my, um, like, live chat pulled up on this secondary monitor, as well as, like, some other things. Yes, yeah, so I did clear this out on accident. Alright, so now we're going to kind of add all the cool stuff. Hmm. How to do this. I think we're going to do this. I think we're going to make these windows a little bit shorter than we had them. Just because I need to put lighting in here. So, gonna go through, do this. But it's an ONN monitor. Um, pretty straightforward. I'd I'd recommend it, uh, even having gone through all that trouble. So I wouldn't recommend buying it online. But if you're in the store and you see it, and it's a store that's close to you. It's definitely been a good monitor since I've got it set up. Plug and play. Um, very straightforward, just two ports, VGA and HDMI. Um, very cheap. <laughs> and it's it definitely that it definitely um, is apparent in the build quality. Not that it's particularly flimsy. It's definitely very light and a lot of plastic. But I mean, it, it's a nice looking screen. Not crazy about the V uh, stand it comes with. Instead of just like a little square stand, you know? It has a um, like this big kind of V stand with two big legs pointing out. Um, but it fits on my desk, and it's a relatively small desk, so pretty compact. It's funny, they were selling um, like huge smart TVs. Um, and I ended up getting this for $80, and they were selling like 33 inch smart TVs for $59. They were having like a liquidation, basically, because I asked them, I was like, is that right? It seems a little... Uh, Seems a little cheap for a, such a nice monitor. I asked them if it was like not selling well or if it was like cheaply made or something. They're like, no, nah, we're just getting uh, shipments of like the new next generation TVs and we need to make room. I'm like, all right, that makes sense to me. So if I, I didn't ha if I didn't have such a limited space, I would have gotten that instead. But uh. Because it was like three times the, the the TV and like half the price, or a third of not a third, two thirds of the price I paid for this little guy. A lot more monitor, a lot more inputs. Smart TV. I think it was 4K too. I was really blown away. Um, but yeah, I don't know what thing is, I don't really know what smart TVs are. I, I guess they just have, like, internet connectivity. 
I know you can like pull up um, like YouTube and stuff and Hulu and whatnot. So I guess they're just like they have little computers in them. Our TV has that, but it's like I think it's through our network. It's through um, it's through Comcast. I'm pretty sure. Although I do have a pretty crappy uh, TV down here in my room that I might want to um, replace at some point. Alright, so I'm an idiot and uh, I actually did this wrong. It's not a big deal. Um, I forgot I, I did this out of order, so basically I need to um, fill all this in first before I put the um, the pillars up. So I'm going to select this, select that, so I'm going to have to come in through here, actually let's do this, fill all that in. Basically, do this. Which is very tedious. I apologize. Ah. Actually gonna cut this off like that just because it's not even the right whatever there we go fill all that in now we're gonna do this Basically, just fill in all the space between these. Actually, do something like this. off of this so actually it might be better if I did something on the lines of just to make it more manageable go all the way down here fill all that in and now we can work off of that so Right, yep, there we go. Then let's get 
that filled in like that, so we can just come there. Like there. There we go. Move this right along. Kind of get the pattern down after a while. It's a little confusing at first. This weirdly kind of stepped design. Something like that. Something like that. So that's it for the roof, I think, here. Just zoom down and see. Yep. So that's all Gucci. Now we have to go through, replace all these with chiseled ports for the sake of aesthetic. So that's how we did it for all the other floors. And gotta do it right if we're gonna do it at all. Which is a lot different than my usual MO, which is usually fuck it. But um, in this case, let's have a little attention to detail. Get these looking consistent. Alright, that's it for that. And now, gotta do the molding, or the trim, I guess. Starting here. Not gonna worry about it on the windows again. I think last uh, episode we did the one floor we didn't really have to worry about putting the trimming I know for the lower floors we did but once you're getting this cramped it really doesn't matter whether or not to split this up into two episodes so I know I said I wouldn't but at the same time it's this one's we're already at 20 minutes in and I don't know if I want to um, 
cut the second floor of this into its own episode. I know the short end of the field will be its own, just one episode, but I don't know about this one. All right, so now we're going to split these up into rooms. Actually, first let's do this. Let's make some doorways. Get some doors. Now we can start with the walls. So I kind of want to start with here, something like that, and then something like that over there. Actually, but first I should probably put a doorway in here. get out. Alright. Now this will be its own room. I'm gonna split this up and split this up like that. Yeah, I'm going to split this up into two episodes. Sorry, guys. It's going to take a little bit longer than I thought. Same thing on this side. All right. Now 
how we're going to mirror basically what we did. If we can, I might end up having to do this. how I ended up doing it. keep losing the doors. even think oh yeah so this is it just need to put in doors I do have to go and put in the door here. Just like that. Although I still haven't learned you have to put in the top first before you can put in the Thankfully we don't have to light this area, we just have to light these rooms and then we'll be done for the episode. Alrighty. Now let's start. Yeah, let's start with this room. So we can do like a light here. There's that room. You can seal that up. Now we do this room. Let's put like a right there. Start from the corner. Three in. middle room same thing Let's just put one in 
here. And then same thing like that. Over here as well. Really just kind of got to feel these lights, not think too hard about them, because I mean it's like, not like, yeah, that's not too good. Oh wait, I can still bring these to one more. Just kind of have to set rules for yourself and it'll end up looking pretty, um, pretty uniform, which is really what, just the only thing you really have to go for. Now here it's a little too narrow for any of the lights. See this part. I think we started from here. Yeah. That's it for this episode. Next episode, we will finish the long end of the field. And, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I just did the wrong thing. That's okay. I mean, it's all going to be done eventually, so uh, I forgot that we didn't do the long end of the field here. It's hard to keep track of things this big, so... Got that, but we have to do that on the long end of the field. But next episode, basically, I'm going to do what we did down here, just up there. Then finish the short end of the field, and then leave that for the last episode, where we work on the floors. Then just those little minor details I was talking about, and we'll be done with this stadium two years, over two years in the making. Started June of... 2017 so um yeah it's been quite the journey but we are we're almost there uh, this has been colonial puppet be sure to check out the next episode when it comes out in the previous episodes if you would like to follow along and other than that this has been colonial puppet have a nice day